This is the view out of my front room looking at the peak. Isn't that gorgeous? I just wanted to share that with you today. I'm Terry Humphrey and I'm on staff at Sunnyside and it's uh, my privilege today to lead you through D1. If you don't know what D1 is, um, it is a devotion time where we take one book, one chapter, one verse. We pray for one thought that God could put on our hearts. Uh, we share it with one person, your mind, and then we pray. And so we're actually in Romans chapter five today, and I couldn't pick just one verse because I was inspired by that mountain in my window, and I'll share it with you in just a second. But let me read verse six through eight. So six says, you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I know most of you probably know that last verse, number eight. You've heard it from time to time. Um, but today it's Memorial Day. And we're supposed to set aside a day to just remember the people that died for our rights, for the privilege of being an American. Um, <clears throat> and it all really resonated with me with this verse, because although it's a military town and we probably all know somebody who's lost their life or made a great sacrifice for our freedoms in this, in this country, I mean, just the freedom for me to have the view that I have of that mountain is amazing. And somebody had to fight for that. But when I think about more than that, when I think about my life before I was even born, Christ was like, you know what? You're going to come into this world. You're going to sin. You're going to be disappointed. I'm, I'm going to be disappointed in you. But guess what? He sent his son to die for our sins. I mean, talk about a gift. Talk about grace. Talk about love. Uh, it just kind of overwhelms me when I think about that. If you just sit on that verse, um, it's enough. The thoughts on that verse is just crazy overwhelming. And so I really love that verse and I wanted to share it with you. And especially because I'm sitting here looking out my front window, looking at Pikes Peak with snow covered and a little bit of clouds underneath it. And it's gorgeous. And yesterday was gloomy and rainy. And although I don't mind a rainy day, I love the day after or when the sun comes out and everything is clean and everything is brighter and everything is just beautiful. And that's exactly how we went into this. We were still sinners and we came out all bright and beautiful because of Christ. We didn't even deserve it. So as you think about those things today, share it with somebody. And if you know somebody who has made a huge sacrifice, maybe they've lost a loved one, um, you know, fighting for our country, be sure to reach out to them today to do, to say thank you to them as well. And just maybe share this verse with them and um, let them know that we get it. We get it and, and we love them for it and we appreciate it. And um, I appreciate all of you too. So thank you for joining me today. Um, have a happy Memorial Day. Get out the grills, even though it's a little bit chilly. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, there are no words for us to thank you for the sacrifice you made for us. And so, Lord, I just, I just leave you with my heart, with the great gift that I acknowledge that from you and that I love you for. Um, that I didn't deserve it, nobody did, but yet you just did this for us. It's, it's overwhelming and it's amazing. And so I thank you, Lord, for that. And I thank you for that beautiful mountain I get to look at every day. And I thank you for the people that are watching this right now and the people that don't know you yet, those not yet. Lord, lead us to those people. I ask all this in your son's name, amen. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye.